Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn Experimental Branch. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to turn the volume up just a little bit more so I can hear myself better. And <laughs> what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start a new uh, season three. We're going to start over, basically. Here is why. I am pretty convinced that my uh, that the skill points are not working for me. And so I think, uh, plus, you know, the intro is, is new now too. And I missed out on all that because I continued my old save. So I think it's, uh, and there's probably some other things that aren't working correctly either for me. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but that's my guess. So I think we're just going to start over now, you know, progression for season three is going to be much faster than it was for season two, just because, you know, I kind of know what the hell I'm doing now or at least I know more of what I'm doing. So it won't take us nowhere near as long to get back to where we left off in season two. But, you know, I, I think it's just the right move to do. So that is what we're going to do. All right, so let's go ahead and sing, hit single player. Uh, we're going to create a new avatar here, and we're just going to go once again with Ranger. So we start with even points. Uh, let's let's go with a, a red uh, for our primary color this time. Just change it up a little bit. Um, and we'll make this black, I suppose. And the detail will make like gray and yeah, good enough. Okay. Confirm that. Uh, we're not going to change any of that stuff. We'll do our usual two points in speed, three in health, three in strength and, um, two in stamina, uh, for skills. We're going to take the first one in each tree because we have to. And then what's this one? Increase hover or salvage faster. Let's go with salvage faster for now. Um, and so for combat, we got increased projectile damage or increased mining damage. Let's go with mining damage because we don't, won't have a gun for a little while yet. And then for science, let's go with a boost fruit nutrition. Okay. I think it's kind of silly that they put increase space, space walk speed as one of the very first skills you can take. That's ridiculous because you can't even get up into space till way later in the game. So yeah, that's a little, uh, that needs to be looked at is what I'm trying to say. Work in progress, right? Work in progress. Okay, I don't think we can take any more points right now. Um, that is... Oh, you know what? We can take that. We have to take it so we can get to some of this other stuff. So I guess we'll take that. We have four points left in combat. Can we, can we take this? Yeah, we can. Okay, we're going to need it eventually, so we might as well. All right, let's confirm that. Uh, we'll just call this um, OG again because that's me. Confirm. Um, this time I'm going to keep all the settings on normal because here's the thing. You know, this is still experimental. It's very rapidly changing. I mean, we could be starting season four next week. You just never know, right? Um, so I don't think I'm going to tweak with any sense. I'm just going to leave them on normal. But once they release this next, uh, you know, this next version into a stable release, I want to do a hardcore playthrough. Not not necessarily, um, well, yeah, probably e extreme, but, you know, with some customization on my part to make it more challenging. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep this on normal. Okay, let's go ahead and create and check out this new intro if you haven't seen it. It's really cool.
All right, here we are again. I feel like we've done this a few times. Uh, let's use this. In fact, let's just put that down there, and we'll grab that and use it. Okay, try and open it. We can't. Grab the knife. Open it with a knife. And escape. There we go. All right, you guys. So here's the thing. Um, one thing I'm going to do different in this playthrough is I'm going to try and fix up. I'm going to try and repair an existing wrecked habitation rather than build something from scratch uh, for two reasons. One, I want to just do it uh, because I haven't done that yet and just see how it works. And two, um, it's really quite a bit more expensive now uh, to build a base from scratch. And I, and I think that's a good thing. I don't have a problem with that, but you know, it is more expensive. And so um, we're going to, we're going to just, you know, change things up a little bit in this season three here by um, trying to repair an existing. So hopefully we can find one because I guess the, the wrecks and whatnot spawn in randomly each time you start a new game. So they're not always in the same exact spot. Um, so hopefully we can find one that's in a relatively centralized location and fix it up. And of course we need a habitat and we need a biodome specifically. Um, I don't think we can find one that also has a barracks, so we'll have to probably build that. But uh, I have seen many that are, you know, uh, that have habitats and biodomes, and, you know, that's what we want. So, okay, so let's get this stuff uh, harvested up here. It doesn't look like the uh, the little welding multi-tool has been improved on its speed, but that's okay because later on we can build something that's a little bit faster. I don't know, maybe it is a little faster than it, than it was a, a few versions ago i'm not really sure it's still pretty slow though overall anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead you know you guys have probably all seen the seen seen how this works i'm just gonna walk around pick up stuff and do a whole bunch of um salvaging uh, to get parts and stuff that we need to get started uh, i'm gonna try not to overdo it with the salvage for now because we don't want to encumber ourselves because we're gonna have to do a little bit of traveling around to find uh you know where our base location is going to be so i will bring you guys back after i've got you know, a decent amount of salvage here, and we'll go start looking for a place to live. Okay, don't go away. Okay, so we've salvaged uh, the pod and the midsection uh, piece, too. We're, we're, like, all the way on the south, far south end of the map, too, because that's the the deep desert out there. Uh, so, let's see. We're at, Yeah, we're at 7.6 uh, Lounge, uh, which is pretty far south. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, 9.3 Lat, which is pretty far south. And then 7.6 Lounge, which means we're also very far uh, to the west. So, we're kind of basically in the southwest part of the map here um so what we're going to do now is we're going to walk around and start looking for uh some of the ruined uh, habitats and see if we can find one that's in a decent location that we can fix up so again the requirement is that we need a habitat and we need a uh, i'm going to pick up a couple of these stones here too because we're going to make a smashing stone or two um so yeah, let's let's uh, whoops, let's turn this into a bashing rock. Uh, bashing rocks are actually very useful in, in the very early game. Um, they're actually, they're even better than this stupid crappy knife. Uh, wait, oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start looking around for that stuff. Um, we're gonna gather up some berries and some plant fiber along and some sticks along the way so that we can also make the shard blade and the crab talons, uh, the uh, the crab scythe thing, madoodle. Because uh, it's actually an excellent weapon, melee weapon in the early game. Um, and unless you know, unless they've changed a few things, it's even a good melee weapon in, into the mid game too. Uh, so we we need to grab. Oh, these are red fern berries. Well, we need these too. Uh, we actually need purple berries more importantly right at the moment. These we can use for food, but once we make a shard blade, we can also uh, harvest ferns uh, for food as well. Um, they don't give you any health, but they do give you food. So these things, but we have to have the shard blade to get the, the food. Otherwise, we just get the fiber from them. Okay, so that's red. Um, let's conk you. So the the stone doesn't make a really good weapon. I mean, it, it works, right, as you can see, but it's not like a super good weapon. Uh, oh, we got a, a parasite. Let's get him out of the way, too. All right, and then... We will uh, thump this guy. I guess the stone doesn't give us or, or allow us to quote unquote discover him. So, it's all right. We'll get some meat off these guys. We'll need it later. All right. Let's keep looking around here. Um, we want a, a few more of these sticks as well that we get from these plants, uh, branches. 
And then these give us the fiber, which we're going to need to make the tape. Same here. Okay, now, where is a purple, a purple fern tree? We don't need red, we need purple. Let's look around here and see if we can spot one and continue, like I said, looking for a place to live. I think that's the Bloodly Forest to the north of us. Pretty sure it is. That's where we had our base in the last, uh, in season two. But here again, I'm not going to build a base this time. We're going to, oh, here's some more stuff. Let's pick this up. Uh, we're going to try and fix up an existing base, so uh, I'm not going to pick that up right now. You don't want to get too terribly encumbered in the very beginning here because, um, you know, then of course you can't move as well. And you don't really have a place to store things. I think that's a purple tree there. Yeah, it is. So let's get this stuff out of the way. Uh, that's just some more salvage that we don't need right now. Okay, let's harvest this. All right, that's a nice little chunk of uh, purple berries. That'll get us started here. You can also use these um, for hydration if you need to, but they do take a little bit of your health away. Uh, for those of you who might be watching this for the very first time. Uh, all right, so let's go into our crafting menu. We want to make makeshift cloth bundles first, and then we're going to make makeshift patch tape. Then we're going to make a stone blade and then a shard blade, and we're going to look, keep our eyes peeled for a crab talon to make the scythe, and then we'll be in good business, uh, or we'll be in good shape, rather, um, for our early tools here. All right, nice. We got the shard blade made, so we're going to put that um, here in place of the of the knife. Uh, let's move the this over to here because we're going to put our crab uh, talon side thingamadoodle in there once we find it. Uh, let's put this tape here. We are um, almost out of food, and oh my goodness, we got nine of these. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, let's eat one of those now, and we have a little bit of water, so let's drink. Um, Oh, no, we're full on hydration. We need more food. So let's actually eat some red berries for that. Um, okay, great. Well, we're in good shape. So now we need to find a crab talon. Um, and, okay, so we're on Helios Hill. So, yeah, we're, I guess we, like I said, we just kind of need to look around. Uh, here's a talon right here. Beautiful. Um, gather. There we go. We got two of those. So now we can make ourselves a... Um, crab scythe, and again, this weapon is kick-ass, you guys. It got, it does 15 damage plus or minus 10 and 75% critical hit. It's just, it's it's really kind of OP. The only bad thing about it is that, you know, it does, it has really bad durability, so you just have to have enough uh, parts on you to make a new one when it breaks until you get to the point where you can get a repair table, which is going to be a little while yet. We're not going to do that immediately. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, up on our, our radar here, we see some kind of white grayish and that's probably aluminum no it's zinc okay good we'll need that later we can't mine it right now because we're going to need to do a makeshift chisel first uh so i want to kind of stay in the center ish part of the map at least for starters whilst we're looking for um you know some of those wrecked areas so let's see we are um uh for facing north so we're six eight lat so we need to go to the east and yeah, kind of north by northeast-ish. We'll just kind of stay in this general vicinity, uh, and hopefully, like I said, we'll be able to find <clears throat> excuse me a um, a wrecked dome that we can fix up and live in. Okay, here's something over here. So what do we got here? This would be a really actually a good place to do it because it's fairly central. Okay, so here's a ruined habitat, and here is a biodome. I think right? Is this a biodome? Yes, it is. All right, this can work. This could work. It might be a little funky trying to get these guys connected, but one thing I really like about this place is it's nice and flat, so we have plenty of room to expand later on, plenty of room for spaceships and parking vehicles and that sort of thing. 
Um, so yeah, this is actually a really good location. I think we'll start here. Uh, we're going to probably have to deal with Mr. Colossus here. Um, he's not hard to kill. He's just kind of a nuisance more than anything because you just get behind him and nail him in the butt. And you can't do anything about it. You dead. Okay, so what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to use, if we use the, the crab scythe on him, we're going to get meat, which we do need. But more importantly, right now I need leather. So that's why I'm going to use the stone blade on him. And we get hide from him, which we can turn into leather once we make the, the workstation. Uh, so you can harvest the legs, you can harvest the body. Got to get a little closer here. There we go. And we're getting all that hide that we're going to turn into leather. It's going to be a beautiful thing. And let's hit the leg here too. And I think, can we get the head on this guy? Yeah. For some reason, when we harvest hide, it doesn't discover the species for us, but it will if we use the uh, the crab site. All right, how much uh, hide did we get? We, oh, wow, look at that. 25 pieces. We've got a half a stack just off of one, <laughs> for one critter. Okay, that's pretty damn generous. Pretty damn generous. Okay, that other guy buggered off. I'm not too worried about him. We'll deal with him when he comes back. All right, guys, so this is our new home. I'm actually quite happy that we found this place because, it, again, it's in a somewhat centralish location. And, yeah, that's going to be great. Okay, let's get rid of all this crap here. Uh, unfortunately, you can't, like completely remove all the vegetation and stuff but um you know it's okay it's okay and let's see we're gonna also now you can harvest the mineral of uh, the rock outcroppings with your bashing stone and if you're lucky you might get a little bit of copper a little bit of gold or a little bit of uh what's the third one that you can get silver yeah i just got some silver uh, so you don't get a ton, but I'm not really doing it right now for the ore. I'm doing it for the stone uh, because we're going to make some stone walls as our early game defenses to keep the monsters from getting to us. Because sometimes those guys will gang up on you and uh, be real pain in the butt to deal with here in the very early game. So we want to have plenty of stone uh, to build ourselves, you know, some basic defenses. I don't really want to build anything on the actual habitat itself because, you know, we need to we need to repair it. And I don't want stuff in the way or have to redo things. Now, this is an interesting situation. we got a red fernberry tree right growing into the habitat itself. Um, I hope that that doesn't cause problems for us when we come time to actually build this. Because, um, like I said, I don't think there's any way to get rid of this. Unless there's maybe there's some kind of an admin command that we can run to get rid of stuff like this. That's something I can look into if it does cause a problem. If it doesn't, then, you know, it'll just be decoration right next to our, our dome here. Okay, once the the little health bar disappears, um, that's when you know you've harvested everything. Plus, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, it'll tell me uh, no more viable resources. Again, for those of you who might be new to the game. All right, let's go pick up all these berries. Um in the very, very early game, the berries, like I said, are good for food. But later on, once we get set up, we can use these to make berry juice, which is really good um, food. It's actually food and hydration both. That's awesome stuff. Uh, so we're going to want to make a bunch of that. All right, guys. Now, the next step here is, um, here, let's get rid of that, is to start salvaging all this stuff. So we've anything that says, if we come up to it and if it says dismantle, uh, notice it says frame support operational. That means this piece is actually already in place. Um, so we don't want to pick it up because, you know, we want to keep it in place because we're going to repair the place. But anything that you see that says salvageable, that we have to remove. We have to salvage it, get the parts, and rebuild it whole later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around and salvage all the stuff um, that we see. And then we're going to loot all of the crates which is going to have useful things in it for us and i'm probably going to actually use the crates early on as storage until we can get our own storage set up uh so let me get that done and then i'll bring you guys back uh after that and we're when we're ready for the next step let's actually kill this guy here come here bubba all right guys um we actually just have to press f to discover these guys i think I think that's new, because I think before we had to actually harvest them. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me. 
All right, so here's what we've done. We've completely salvaged everything on the habitat itself, uh, including the crates and, and themselves. And the plan for now is we're going to actually um, stay inside of the the ruined biodome for now because we have to build the habitat first before we can do anything with the biodome anyways. And the reason we're going to stay in here is because we actually kind of have these sort of protective walls so we don't have to worry about critters coming to get us. And I've also left all of the crates in place so we can use it for early game storage until we can, you know, come up with our own storage solution. Okay, so um, it's sort of kind of organized. We're basically, excuse me, going to keep ores and ingots in this one. And we will run out of room, too, as we come along, but, we'll, you know, we'll make the best of it. Uh, so ores and ingots in there. Uh, here, we're going to keep cloth um, for now. And maybe, uh, maybe we'll also, here, I don't want that. Let's get rid of that thing. Uh, maybe we'll also keep, say, uh, uh, biomatter types of things in here uh, for now. Okay. Uh, this one is tech. So basically rubber, wire, power cells, glass, um, LCD screens, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll keep in here. Um, I did actually find three pistols in eight uh, magazines of ammo too, but they're all broken as you can see. So we won't be able to do anything with those until we get a repair table going. Uh, but hey, you know, three pistols, that's not bad. Okay, uh, so we got that done. And then let's see in here, we're going to keep um, here. Let's actually put the pistols and the extra tools in here. We're going to keep the bandages on us. Okay, good. And then in here, we got, um, we're going to keep all of the scrap uh, hinges and metal space debris, that sort of thing can stay in here. This guy is more salvage. So yeah, we'll, we'll just keep that there. Oh, this is salvage too. So, you know, like I said, we're going to get some overflow. We're going to put, we're probably going to get overflow of, of ores first before almost anything else. So maybe what we'll do is we'll keep, uh, the ores in here. Well, we'll probably get container See, I was actually going to use this for containers. So let's keep containers in there. Um, this one will keep, what is this, a hinge? We'll keep a little bit of space debris in here for now until we, we need some overflow, and then we'll move stuff over. Come here, tick. You giant tick. Come get me. Come get me, bro. Okay, and we've got a skeleton here that wants to join our party as well. So we've already... Um, discovered him. Uh, let's get some meat off of him. We'll get leather off of the skelepod. So you can do the body and the tail on these guys. And all right, now, next thing we want to do is we want to put up our, our little debris hut. And then I have some more stuff I can salvage over here too. Uh, so I want to think about this for a minute. The Let's see. I don't like the 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 way the place that the, um, the airlock is facing. But, I mean, if we're going to use this as it is, we're going to have to deal with that, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Which means we'll probably ultimately put our outdoor perimeter um, kind of out in this area. It's not precisely level, which, again, is not really good. This is actually more level here. So maybe what we'll do is, you know, we'll come out of the airlock and then hang a Louie here and come up and do our crafting in this area. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that being the case, um, I think we'll put our hut. So we hit F2, we go to the structures, inflatable, no, not inflatable, don't scrap hut, uh, which we need seven scrap metal for. Okay, let's just grab that now since it's it's still here, uh, or since this is here, we might as well get, get it now. Uh, by the way, if you look at my mini map in the upper right hand corner, the white triangles represent uh, space debris that you can find on the map. And then the different uh, ore deposits have different colors based upon what they are. With, uh, the rock outcroppings themselves being uh, kind of a dark brown color. So silver is, is kind of silverish color. Aluminum is kind of a grayish color. Almost a grayish blue color and so on and so forth. Okay, so we've got all of the stuff to make the, uh, the space debris hut. So we're going to start our... I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to do a little quick survey here. So this is probably going to be kind of our yard out here. But for the space debris hut since this is kind of where we're going to temporarily live, 
I think we'll actually build this here. So we're going to hit F2. We're going to go to structures, do the scrap hut. Oh, we still didn't get enough scrap metal out of that. Okay. Well, here, we got more in here. Structures, scrap hut. Then we want to turn it this way. And then, uh, yeah, right about, wait a second. Right about there should be good. So you hit F and then you hold F down. Uh, always make sure you hold the F key down until it's completely built or it will be built um, incomplete and you'll have to repair it later. Uh, I learned that the hard way. Okay, now we want to hit F to save our spawn point so that way if we bite the bullet, we spawn back here. Very important to do that as soon as you can in this game. All right, guys, we are making really good progress so far. Um, I'm doing well. I'm very, uh, you know, very happy with where we're currently at. We got some makeshift storage. We got pr a protected little biodome for monsters for now. Um, and we got our, our scrap hut down and have done uh, all of the salvaging in this area that we can do. So our next thing that we want to do now is we still want to kind of create a little bit of a perimeter in this flat area where we're going to put up all, you know, put all of our stuff, uh, our crafting benches and that sort of thing. So, um, I think what I want to do is I want to go get a whole bunch of stone so let's find some rock outcropping so anything again that shows up as brown on the map and so i'm just going to uh whack on these for a little bit until i get a nice little supply of stone so we can build our stone walls for defenses and then we'll move on to the next thing see you in a bit all right guys i am back and i've collected uh, a pretty decent quantity of stone and we have a few more in here too so let's go grab the other stone which i think i put in here um oh no uh-oh houston we have a problem Locate food supply <laughs> oh no we got a problem houston um that problem is that i actually had to crap i had to log out in real life uh for a bit and oh no and so i guess when you come back if you haven't looted those containers it resets them so we just lost all of our stuff oh no that didn't even that didn't even occur to me yeah this is all brand new stuff oh crap all right well um yeah that sucks that really, really sucks. So note to self and to everybody watching this video, don't do that. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, man. So everything we salvaged is gone. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? It is what it is. We can't do anything about it now. Um. <sighs> okay. Let's move on. What else can you do, right? So let's go. Okay. So, yeah, we cannot... We cannot store stuff in these crates. So I didn't realize that was going to happen. But now that it, the more I think about it, the more I realize, yeah, that does kind of make sense that that happened. So we, you know, we have 48 um, rocks that I harvested up there. So we might as well take everything out of all of these containers because it's just going to reset again uh, the next time I log in back out. What? Oh, you son of a. Okay, we're going to gonna take that guy out here. See snuck right through the dome i guess the other thing about that too is it it goes to show that the dome is, isn't going to do a, a whole lot to protect you from at least from the big boy here and the big boy spawns in this valley so that is significant let's go ahead and kill you okay oh that sucks that we lost all that stuff you guys oh man all right well Again, can't do anything about it. So, yeah, don't store stuff into these containers. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Okay, we'll just move on. I mean, there's more stuff that, you know, we can salvage and we'll we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. Okay, so here's, excuse me, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go uh, into our uh, defenses menu and we're going to start putting some rock walls down. Uh, so let's do that over here first. Uh, we want to be able to get to our... Uh, our hut there. Uh, so let's just block this off here. Um, these stone walls are temporary. 
So it's not super important that I get them set exactly the way they need to be. Um, we might even turn this one this way. The, you know, again, I, I kind of mentioned this earlier. The, the one thing I don't like about these uh, these bases is, you know, where their entrances are. But, again, if we're, if we're going to fix them up, we're going to have to pretty much just deal with that. So, all right, if we turn you this way, can you block this from any monsters? Pretty much should be able to, yeah. Okay. They can't fit through, you know, little gaps. And the big monster might be able to walk over the top of this, but the other ones will not be able to get past that. So I think we're in pretty good shape over on that side. Okay, so for this side, what we again, uh, we need to make room for the airlock when we eventually build it. So what I think we'll do there is let's put a wall right here-ish. Now later on, um, you know, we can we can create a, essentially a force field, like a, it's a, a dome, like an electrodome is what it's called. And you know, when that happens, then we'll be we'll be in good shape because then nothing can get to us. But it, that it's going to be a little while before we can do that. So, all right, I want to bring this um, over this way a little bit. Well, actually, you know, we better keep this one straight for one more because of the ramp uh, for the airlock. Okay, now what we're going to do is start turning it this way. And we're just going to kind of bring it... Uh, what's the matter? Looks like we are out of food. Okay, let's escape out of there. And uh, I'm getting low on the, these these soup things but uh, oh you know what we got a bunch of these that we can eat and some berries too so yeah we're fine tasty fern plants whoever thunk whoever thunk fern plants was would be tasty okay so let's see i want to bring the wall up around through here um we don't need a huge crafting area to start with and we'll probably um, you know, change it anyways later on. So let's let's go ahead and keep turning this this way. So defenses. Um, let's start wrapping it around like so. Whoops. Okay, and then again, turn it this way. Let's see if we do that, it's gonna go. Nah, let's keep it this way for a little bit longer. Okay, now let's turn it this way. And we'll just close it off through here. I don't think any bad guys can get through those gaps, so we should be good. Okay, cool. So we got our, our uh, initial in-game, or early game rather, perimeter set up. So we shouldn't, we should be fine with, you know, not worry about getting ganked by monsters and stuff like that. Uh, with the exception, possibly, of the big guy. He, the big guys can't get over these walls, but they might be able to step over this, and if they do, we'll just kill them. Um, I just don't want to get ganked by a whole bunch of monsters, which, you know, can happen. And sometimes it happens when you're not really ready to fight them, so uh, we should be good. Um, but we're going to keep most of our stuff up here on this flatter area, and then later on we'll expand out to there. Uh, once we can get, like, the dome and stuff like that set up, so... Okay, well, crap, you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm so irritated that I lost all that stuff. I mean, that was a lot of of salvaging that we did. Oh, man. All right, well, here's what it is. So what I'm going to do is salvage these, and then hopefully we have enough uh, stuff from, from just looting these to make a storage container, which we have to do for the quest anyways, and then... Uh, we got to make a furnace, and we have to make a workbench. We sh we probably would have been fine with the previous stuff, but it just like I said, it just didn't occur to me that that would disappear if I logged out. But you know what? It's a mistake I won't make again, and hopefully none of you guys will make that mistake either. Here I thought I was being clever by 
utilizing these storage containers to uh, store our stuff and uh, <laughs> it backfired on me. Oh, well, what can you do? What can you do? Okay, let's um let's take a look and see. Can we make the storage, uh, the scrap metal chest? Yes, we can. Okay, because the, the quest wants us to do that. What about the furnace? Oh, man, we had a crude pipe too, didn't we? Dog, got it. All right. Uh, shoot. What about this workbench? Yes, we can make this if we just make some more makeshift patch tape. Um, so, yeah, let's make this first. Um, and we're gonna, let's see, I gotta think about this for a second. I'd kind of like to, these to stay permanently in place so we don't have to move them later, which means that we're gonna need to put them up against uh, probably one of these buildings here. Um, so let's see, it's not gonna sit flat, which is gonna irritate the heck out of me too. All right, well, maybe what we'll do is we'll try and line them up along here. If they're not, if they don't sit perfect, they don't sit perfect. So there's, you know, it's just not the end of the world. Oh, let's go back in here. So, you know, the game, if you guys didn't know this, doesn't remember your settings. So every time you start over, uh, or I'm not start over, but re, you know, log back into the game, you have to go back in and tell it you don't want depth of field and motion blur and bloom and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a pain in the neck. They need to fix that. Okay, let's go in here and um, we have a little bit of storage now, not a ton. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to drop this dirt because as far as I know, it's useless. It tells us that. I'm not even sure why it's there, but I'm sure it's going to be used for something later on, I'm guessing. Um, we don't need to keep sand because that's super easy to get when the time comes. But we do want to keep the soil because the soil requires a special uh, uh, container thing, like a compost bin kind of thing to make. And so since we have some already pre-made, we're going to keep that. Okay. Uh, what else do we want to put in here for the moment? Let's put the the barrel thing in there and the broken barrels and I guess kind of I'm just trying to think of what some of the heavier stuff is we really want to kind of keep the water with us uh, we're gonna keep the berries uh, these we can actually eat now let's just do it we want to keep the carrot did we get a potato we didn't but I'm sure we'll find one we want to keep this for later because this is what we're gonna actually grow one of the things anyways that we're gonna grow when we get the um, um, the biodome uh, set up. Okay, so let's put that full stack of there and that in there because that's going to be heavy. We can put the cloth in and some of these ores. And I'm going to make more of these chests, guys. I just I'm so it's so freaking irritated that we lost all our stuff. Uh, I'll make more of these chests later. So we'll put the leather in there. What else do we not need right this moment? Uh, we'll put the meat in there and uh, the glass. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's turn the light off so we can save our battery. Well, I guess I need to go out. Uh, I need to go find some more purple berries, first of all, so that we can make the furnace. Uh, um, well, we need to make the furnace. We need to make the workbench. So I'm going to do that. And I think it's about time for us to wrap up this episode anyway. So, yeah, what we'll do is I'll go farm up some stuff. I'm probably going to go try and do a little more off-camera salvaging, too. Uh, and see if we can get some of the stuff back that we lost. And um, so once that's done, I will bring you guys back to start the next episode and we will proceed from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Be sure to leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.